Hey everybody, it's Jerome Jr. Today video is an update off a previous video I've uploaded. This video, I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire Stick with Alexa Voice Remote. The reason why I'm doing a video update is because since the last video I posted have been software updates, both on the Fire Stick and both on the software itself, Kodi. So this video is gonna show you guys how to install the latest Kodi 17.0. So you guys have comment and I'll listen and here's the video guys. If you don't know what Kodi is, Kodi is a program that allows you to access free content via add-ons that you install. So you access free movies and free TV shows. So let's jump right into it guys. All right guys, let's get started. The first thing you want to want to do is scroll all the way to your right to where it says settings. Once you get the settings, hit down on the D-pad and scroll over until you get to device. Once you land on device, go ahead and hit the center button, select it. Once you select it, you want to go down to developer options. Now, here's a little background of what we're about to do. The reason why we're going to developer option is because Kodi is a third-party add-on. It is not supported normally by the Fire Stick. It's not on the App Store. So we need to give it, give your Amazon Fire Stick permissions to let you install it. So this is what we're gonna do. So first, click this one, and it will go to on. Once you click the center button, it will go on. Now scroll down, and you want to hit the center button again to enable it. It's gonna give you this. It's just letting you know basically what I told you, but not in the same kind of terminology. So you're gonna hit turn on. Once that is done, you want to go back 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 until you get to the main screen so once you get there scroll all the way to the left go to the magnifying glass and we're going to look for a specific file or app i meant to say that lets you download cody so let's do this what you want to type in is downloader so type exactly what I am typing guys see and then click it it's gonna pop up downloader it's gonna look like this so go ahead and click it and then you're gonna wanna download it downloading it will be right here the reason why mine say download you own it is because I've already downloaded this before so for you, it will say something else in this little area right there, but you're gonna wanna click it. Once it's done downloading, you're gonna get that pop-up in the right corner telling you download or ready to launch. Well, because we're still on the screen where we download the app, we're gonna just hit the select button for open. Once you get to this screen, you're gonna wanna go over to where it say enter URL of the file you want to download and you want to highlight over it where it said HTTP and hit select. Now type in exactly what I am about to type in. Okay guys? So the reason why I decided to show you guys this URL download method than what you've probably seen in other people's tutorial, the ES Explorer, because the ES Explorer is sometimes unreliable. Sometimes it don't even download, and you're sitting there waiting forever. This is instant. Once you have this in the URL, you hit next and click download, and it will start downloading, as you see. Quick. It is quick. So, um, guys, if you want to see this URL, if I did it too fast or you don't have enough time to look at it, I'm going to go ahead and put it down in the description for you to refer to it. So, you're going to go ahead and let's just download.
once it's done downloading, you will get to this screen. Basically, what the screen is letting you know is that when you install Kodi, it's going to want access to this data net and this. Just go ahead and hit install. You go down and hit install and let it do its thing. All right, guys. Once Kodi is done installing, you will get in the little right corner. It will say Kodi is ready to launch. Kodi's done installing, guys. You install Kodi. But I'm not done yet. I'm guys, I'm going to show you and set you up for you to start watching free movies. So after you get to this screen, go over and highlight open. Click open. Now we're preparing Kodi 17.0 for first use. It looks completely different from Jarvis, which was um, version 16, guys. I even looked at it and was like, wow. Alright guys, this is how Cody looks once it's up and running and finished installing. So now I'm going to show you guys how to install Fusion. So what you're going to want to do is when you get to this screen, go up to that turning wheel. Right here, or gear you want to call it. And hit settings. Once you get to settings, you're going to want to go down to file management file manager click it once you get the file manager you go to add source all right click none and type in exactly what i'm going to type in so once you have done that you want to go over here to OK, hit OK. And then, after you do that, you want to name this source. So, for naming conventions, let's name it Fusion. Why not? Makes sense, right? You can name it F if you want. It doesn't make a difference. For just for naming conventions, and you keep it well organized for Fusion. Okay, once you do that, hit OK. All right, guys. So once you've done that part, what you want to do is you're going to want to go back and go back until you get to the home screen and go down to add-ons. All right. And what you're going to do is you want to click add-ons and you're going to want to go up to that little gear at the top and click it. Right, make sure you highlight the add-on tab selection and what you're going to do is click over to your right and we're going to want to enable unknown sources. What that allows us to do is install Fusion and all the other stuff we've got to install for you to watch. Free shows and free movies. Okay, once you do that, you will want to go back. Stay in the add-on menu, which you would know because in the top left corner at the top, you see how I say add-ons on my screen? So only go back one. Don't go back more than one, okay? You don't want to be all the way back at the home screen. But if you did accidentally do it, I'm going to demonstrate. And you back at this normal Cody screen, you see this? All you got to do is click once back in. And you back at that add-on screen. Basically, it's a sub-menu. Just wanted to explain that, just in case you guys actually need to click it too much. Okay, so once we're all here, everybody's here, okay? We're going to want to go to the top corner. It looks like an open box. You want to click that. Okay? So once you click that, you're going to get these four... Um, options you can pick. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to the third one, which is install from a zip file. Click it. All right. And you remember how I named it Fusion for it to be easy to find? Look, right there. Click Fusion. And then if you click Fusion, scroll down to begin here. And install Indigo 1.0.2. So once you click that, 
you want to wait a second and it will let you know when it's done installing all right you will know it's finished installing when in the right top corner is say indigo is installed so once you've done that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and you see right there you see how I say video add-on and you see indigo we're gonna do is we're gonna click over to indigo and click it it's analyzing please stand by it's basically installing every necessary thing you need to install once you guys click into it you're gonna want to click the folder and say add-on installer and then scroll down to feature add-ons right now I'm showing you guys how to install Exodus which is basically my top favorite for accessing movies and TV shows so you're gonna scroll down to Exodus highlight it click it okay and then we're gonna go down to install Exodus and click install After the install is complete, click OK. After you click OK, you're going to want to go back. I'm basically going to show you how to always access Exodus, which is your add on to watch movies and stuff. So always be under the category add on. You just click over to your right and you just click it. And then from here, you got the movies, you got the TV shows, whatever, and you just got the subcategories. Um, some of you guys will notice when you first install Exodus, if you try opening right after you install it, nothing pops up like it's not working. Do not panic. Nothing's wrong. It's just the the database need an update. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys how to access Cody and all of all your stuff from like scratch from after you install it and you turn off your TV and everything so I just went ahead and closed everything out so now I'm at the home screen I'm going to show you guys how to get back to Cody after a while opening it will pop up in your recent see how it's not popping up in my recents don't panic it's nowhere to be found don't panic the way you will access it until it start populating under recent which it should after a while is you want to go all the way over to settings click settings then you want to go over to applications click applications it's going to be under your manage install applications this is where everything that you got installed on your fire stick you can see so right here Cody you want to click it and launch so launching Cody that's how you get back to Cody guys and then get right back to your movies and your shows you want to start watching remember I said scroll all the way down to add-ons and boom it's right there just like I showed you, I told y'all earlier before I close it out. Click it, let it load, and boom, you're right back. You're right back. So there you go. Guys, that's how you install Kodi. That's how you install Fusion or Indigo now. And that's how you install Exodus. Hey guys, that's the end of the tutorial. Now if you're stuck in any part and you find it difficult, go ahead and leave a comment below. I have no problem with answering you guys and helping you guys out. And if you like this video and enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out. I do weekly videos, tech reviews, and tutorials and all types of stuff. I'm on Twitter now, so if you want to follow me and know when the next video is upload, go ahead and do that. Well, like I say always, guys, at the end of the video, this is Drum Jr., and it was a pleasure. See y'all next time.